Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's Friday the 3rd of March. It's quarter past six and I'm heading home. Don't feel too sorry for me though <coughs> because uh, I've actually only been in work since half past three. Uh, so now it's oh it works from here. <laughs> it's raining so I didn't want to stand outside and do the roller shutter. <laughs> So, um, I, uh, I came to the car, I had some parcels as well, so I didn't want to juggle those, and I was hoping I'd have enough range just to shut it down from here, and uh, it seems like it's going to do it. Yep, that's done. Locked up. Right. So, we head off and drop our Herms parcels. So, yes. Uh, oh, oh, a bit of a lump there. Only done a, a short day today. Um, so that's been okay, really. And as a whole, this week has been a pretty, it's just been a bit, a bit nothing, really, to be honest. Um, kind of feel like I've not been super productive this week, um, one way or the other. And I've got stuff done, but I just don't feel like got loads done really um, but uh, such is the way of things sometimes it just goes like that doesn't it you uh, you end up with these kind of weeks where there's not a huge amount going on but you don't make the best use of that spare time when stuff's not happening to do something useful um, but uh, I have of course been uploading many and many Star Wars Battlefront gaming videos um, big thanks to Bob Bell uh, for uh, for sitting through and watching I think he's watched every single one of them religiously because it's gonna get pretty boring after a while watching me run around shoot scenery and get shot a lot uh, while achieving very little on Star Wars Battlefront uh, but there you go uh, so yeah I've been doing quite a lot of those progressing quite well uh, I'm not far off reaching rank 100 which is the highest available now uh, there are rumours about Star Wars Battlefront 2 game possibly coming out so that'll be interesting if there's another one a new one because um, I suppose they've got to the end of all the downloadable content now the four DLC content so let's see how we get on with it anyway uh, I've noticed with the uploads of the videos I'm going to be a bit careful uh, I seem to be getting a few copyright strikes now and again um, where it has the music in, which seems to be the, either the lead in or lead out before the game starts where it plays music. Um, that gets me hit with copyright, so uh, I have to try and be careful not to add that in. But um, other than that, yeah, I've been having, having a few games now and again when I get a chance. Not very often I do get a chance, but uh, when I get a chance, and then I've been recording them. Many, many don't actually. <laughs> get used uh, for obvious reasons mostly because I am truly appalling on those ones as opposed to be fairly bad on the ones I upload <laughs> so um, yeah there's quite a few that uh, that get ditched on my not so good efforts but um, other than that I, you know I try and uh, keep the whole game in I don't edit it just to show the best bits good idea that doesn't it just to, to <laughs> You wouldn't really know if I just cut out all the bits where it's terrible and then just uh, uploaded all my best bits where I did the great kills and stuff, but that that require far too much editing effort for uh, for my liking, for sure. So, um, don't know. We'll see. Uh, we shall see what happens. Um, other than the gaming side of it, what's been happening this week? Uh, not a... I say not a huge amount of anything's happened to be honest. It's been a bit of a bit of a sort of not a lot going on sort of week. Um been updating a few of the iCarbons listings that I haven't done forever in a day. I thought I'd better get on with that. Um so I've put some ooh, please. Um some added work on. Um just the new skins for the new MacBooks and MacBooks with the touch bar and things that I haven't added on to Amazon. Finally got round to doing. Um, 
and also under um, Bruce from our carbon recommendation um, the skins they do for the DJI Mavic Pro drone because um, he said they were selling at an incredible rate sort of he said iPhone new iPhone sales rates so there'll be a lot of skins in a short time so uh, I put them on I sold one already so you must be right about that I mean I kind of was a bit you know I don't know how big the UK market is for drones compared to America uh, and of course with iCarbons although I try, try and keep the pricing as much as I can keener than buying from iCarbons in America direct and waiting for it to be shipped over to the UK it's a pretty slow mail service as well and expensive um, you know it's still there's you know no reason for people to um, go on before I get someone up my backside on my goodness is that car ever still alive it looks older than the lady in it that's saying something isn't it uh, so yes uh, as you might have gathered I am at the petrol station because Burmese parcels time so I'm going to go and drop those in um, and then I'll come back to you uh, shortly so let's see how we get on with this then I'll just uh, knock him off ding and knock you off and I'm back again now I think I'm just gonna sneak out before granny gets there that's gonna be good don't want to be stuck behind but granny <sighs> Just see so if we can get out of here. They cut at a fair rate of knots down here, and I don't really I want to end up with someone in the backside. And of course, they come at a rate of knots, and then we end up at a queue down here anyway, so there's not really any point to it. But um, also, you've got to be careful. There's a um, just below the, that exit at the petrol station, there's a a little road that goes down to some high houses, it's quite hidden. And uh, of course now and again you get people wanting to turn across who are coming up to go down that road and of course where the brake is for you, you're looking up, you go to set off and they're going to turn across you because they're going down the road because there's a brake in traffic as well. So you do have to now and again have a bit of a good check down as well as up just to make sure there's no one going to sneak across there um right so we're on the way again and now we're going to head to tesco's again yes tesco's on the way home uh, just to pick up something for tea um some goodies so yeah what's I, i carbons bits i've done a bit of i carbons um it's been pretty steady at work i've cut up with a few bits and pieces i um had uh, run some ethernet uh, right through into the roasting room because where it is and the fact that all there's so much big thick stone wall work all around it it was a complete dead spot for any wi-fi i've got about from anywhere it's a, a kind of at the far end of the warehouse anyway so um you imagine where the front door entrance is our offices are just to the left of there, where the windows are, and um, so basically, if I ever park up when I'm going there on the morning for work, I'm nearest the offices when I park up. So the first bit you get to, you get the glass, and then you get the the doorway roller shutter. Well, that is the offices are where the glass is there, and obviously that's where the internet starts. We have. Um, just where the, that glass starts um, on the wall is where the phone lines come in and that's where the, the plus net uh, little router and modem are connected and uh, so I've extended that through so the network extends from the front of office to the back of office wired and then I have a, a little um, just a four port um, switch there and there's another cable that then goes into what's an electric cupboard at the back of the office 
just because there was a handy sort of gap in the floor in there to upstairs so I could drop a, a long Ethernet cable down from upstairs and then uh, that connects up there so then I have a connection upstairs I've actually got one computer running up there uh, and then an old wireless router that's just been set to not run DHCP so it can be used as um, an extender instead so you just plug the incoming Ethernet to one of the four normally outgoing ports and then use the other three as outgoing uh, and that just extends the range that way with your old routers so um, it's quite handy if you do have any old routers you can get into them and um, set them to do that so you can use them just to extend your existing wired network or even use them as um, a wireless access point um, at the end of it just by turning off um, DHCP normally so they're not trying to dish out um, IP addresses to whatever connects and they'll just take in and, and put it out again I think it might be certain types but anyway so um, run a cable and then wanting to run the Ethernet back to the roasting room which is of course the far side of the warehouse door so that's a long way across uh, and it seemed the simplest method to go although we have wired through to sort of where I parked um, last well not last week last week would have been last week's one where the two fire extinguishers were when I parked there um, just inside of the other side of that wall it's a little uh, office area for the warehouse we've got wired there so and I could kind of run from the along some pipe work and into the roasting room that way I thought I'll go from upstairs because I've got that up there and it won't sort of affect things as much when we're running cable um, and then I'll just drill a hole through the roof in the room and the floor up above and drop it through You'd think that'd be easy, easy wouldn't you? Uh, I tried that and no success at all. I even ended up with a 30 centimetre bit drill bit. Now that, that's ruler length drill bit. That's a long drill bit. Uh, and I still, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get to meet the top floor boards from the roof boards below. So that's a heck of a roof sort of void space. Um, it's got massive length. So, at which point, after some drilling and poking about and puzzling and thinking, where the chuff <laughs> is this going? Um, I bravely decided the best thing to do was actually go out the window upstairs because um, kind of where it was is just about where my um, ducting comes up that obviously comes from the roaster um, to extract all the smoke and hot air and whatever else from it. So I went through that external roof because it's actually not sealed up where the guttering is anyway um, went through that and um, just run it down and then through the hole where I'd um, put the ducting through so it's taken a pretty weird route is that Ethernet cable running but it got there in the end um, and then I added an extra um, another route I had an old Netgear router at home it used to be the main one and then we got the uh, we got one of the new Virgin Meteor Super Hubs, and it kind of superseded needing that one then. So um, I know it sat in a cupboard upstairs and thought, not really getting any use at home. I'll nick it for work, and I'll use that one in the roasting room. And I'll reset it, and then I'll set it on, turn DHCP off, and. Uh, set up the Wi-Fi on it because I could do with some of the Wi-Fi in there for devices as well as wired um, so and of course once you reset the thing to get into it you've got to preferably plug it in by Ethernet into something and then log in to the admin interface of the router well what a complete pain in the backside that was um, you'd think they'd make it nice and easy um, but 
I mean, it, it is easy, but I think the problem is nowadays compu <laughs> computers are just too clever about stuff and they just insist that there's no internet connection so you can't access anything. Even though I didn't want the internet, I wanted the stupid router thing. So I mean, started out, I was trying to mess about with it at home with my uh, MacBook Air and had a USB Ethernet adapter, which would be fine normally. Except apparently from El Capitan onwards, all the new security field features that uh, Apple put in mean that it's uh, you can't get the drivers to work on it anymore. So I had a right faff messing about with um, turning off the security thing and adding these drivers and fiddling with this and loading kecks and whatever. I was having absolutely no joy getting the Ethernet adapter to work at all. So I gave up on that idea, dragged out a Windows 10 netbook. I mean, I've got one of those at home. We don't really do a lot with it, but it's got it. It's got Windows 10 on it. So I connected it up to that, and that would have nominated the either. It wouldn't let me connect to its IP address or to the router login thing that you use to get into the admin of it. Normally, uh, because... I don't know, I, I think it was just, could have been um, Edge's sort of thing, it's saying there's no internet here so you're not going to access anything or something. I don't know, it just wouldn't have any of it. Uh, so I ended up trying on an XP computer at work, and that wouldn't let me in. I couldn't even... So in the end, I've <laughs> had another netbook at home, at uh, work, that's got... Um, it's got an old version of Lion, Mac OS Lion on it, ancient, um, from when I used to hack in Tosh. But I booted, that still works, when I booted it up, connected it up to the router, and straight away it let me go into the admin and do all the admin changes. So, um, yeah, that was a right faff, to be honest. Um, but I got it done in the end, so it's all set up now. It's got um, Wi-Fi, and it's just plugged in and being like a range extender for our internet. So... Many, many, many devices throughout um, the works internet there is, but uh, now I've got some stuff from Richard to read before I go and do my shopping. Um, so let's see what Richard's been up to. Uh, so Richard Nellis, uh, some recap of Tron from last week's vlog. I've forgotten all about that. <laughs> what? We were talking about Tron, were we? I don't know. Um, he's seen the Scooby-Doo rock and roll mystery Featuring Kiss DVD at HM in Leeds, HMV in Leeds. Don't you see the DVD in HMV? Watch the film. It's a good film, that. Scooby-Doo Rock and Roll Mystery. Um, and he also did the shortcut um, from Hipperome to... Um, through the back of Shibden to get to Halifax when it's busy traffic. Um, which is always good. Good little snort shortcut that, but it's got some fair hefty um, speed bumps on the road. But uh, yeah, if you get stuck, that's always a good one to get past. Um, the vlog on the 11th of November. Oh, that was because I'd done it. That was it. That's the reference to that was my vlog on the 11th of November. Now on Tuesday, he sang Bump and Grind by R. Kelly. They did it, Richard. It was very good. I did ask if he did the, any <laughs> any dance moves to go with it, uh, and he said no. Um, I was just trying to imagine him, what sort of dance moves you might pull off to <laughs> Bump and Grind by R. Kelly. Um, tickets for Ed Sheeran's Teenage Cancer Char Charity gig has been sold out. Uh, and it's his mum's birthday on Monday next week. So happy birthday, Richard's mum, for next Monday. Very good. So, uh, yeah, busy um, busy old times for Richard, unlike myself. Um, I'm turn them off. So, yep, that's probably about it for me, really. I don't, there's not, nothing, <laughs> not a lot of exciting has happened, unfortunately, one way or the other. It's just been one of those kind of weeks where not a great deal's happened. Um, overall doing anything really so they are such is a boring life I have hey so uh, right I shall leave you at that so have a good 
weekend and week next week when I might come back with some interesting information instead of this boring twaddle. Um, and I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see ya!